guys, I'm there. My name is Chisa. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Fire Force or Enena Shobatai episode 21. So we're slowly nearing the end, but I have to give a little update because since September is approaching, which also means that summer holidays are almost over, things are gonna change again on my channel. I'll probably have less time to do reaction videos since my normal life will be coming back but I'll give a full update video on that later this is just me announcing that there will be an update video on it also I'll be on a holiday next week so this is like the last week probably that I'll be able to do a lot of reactions still Anyways, I'm super excited about this episode. We're still in the middle of that entire battle between Unit 8 and those people in the white clad. We're taking out people one by one. We're focusing on different people at each episode. And this episode will probably focus on Vulcan and Obi against Giovanni and the Sa. Right? I hope I said it right this time. Yeah, you know how much I like Vulcan, you know how much I like Obi as characters, so I'm really excited to see how they're gonna work together. Now that I think about it, those are two people who both don't have any powers, or they have fire kinetic powers, so we'll see how they're gonna handle the situation. In any case, I'm super excited about it. So without further ado, let's get right into the episode, so let's go! Alright, I'm ready to answer the episode. And three, two, one, go. So it's Lisa. This is the moment Vulcan found her, right? Don't underestimate them. So, oh, oh, those are the things that Vulcan made. This guy is so weird. <laughs> uh. I mean, he's fireman. Is 
setting things up. Vulcan is gonna catch her. Oh, see, I knew it. She doesn't defer. That was so... That was a weird transition, but okay. But still, like... I'm not gonna feel bad for Lisa anymore after everything she did. Like, Vulcan just don't deserve her. No, the other way around. She doesn't deserve Vulcan. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Uh, y yeah, oh my gosh. probably has a bulletproof vest or something, right? I mean, we know Obi's fine. 
He probably just has a bulletproof vest and he's just pretending like he's down. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> something been happening to Shinra while we didn't know about it? Oh yeah, the Adola link. Oh my god, what's going on? Uh, oh my god, this looks really disturbing. What's going on? Is this what he is experiencing through that Abdullah link? Ah. Ah. Stay away from 
my baby, please? Oh my gosh. some crazy shit Things are getting really complicated. Here we go. <laughs> Back to big brother mood. They're gone. Are they? Oh my gosh! They're just crazy. <laughs> Victor's like, what's happening around me? prepared for this. Wait, wait a second. <gasps> oh, using that strange attack thing again. The time stopping thing. soundtrack <gasps> oh. oh Shira oh my 
マイガーShe just knew his such move wasn't fast enough. Some crazy shit happening. Oh, uh, right. Okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking really hard about everything that happened in this episode and all the information we got in this episode. Okay, so that was episode 21 from Fire Force and things progressed a lot faster than I expected. I thought this episode would mainly focus on Obi 
Falcon versus Giovanni and Lisa. We've sort of finished that fight, even though there wasn't like a clear conclusion because Giovanni just left and Lisa sort of passed out, still being brainwashed. So there was actually like no point in that entire fight except of getting a little bit of new information from Giovanni so Obi learned a couple of new things about the connection between the bugs that lot of burst those human combustions so you know we learned some new things but other than that it was just mainly Giovanni's telling for some time to get Shinla and Sho together and we already got jump right right into the fight and the fight itself was amazing the animation there i was like the same with victor we were like what's going on oh my gosh i wasn't so not ready for that but at the same time it was so amazing yeah show can do all these crazy things so with his like powers pyrokinetic powers he can like expand the universe or something it was some crazy shit they were talking about i do have to say though I really really like the fight but what is missing for me a little bit is like the entire motivation behind the antagonist it's just like everyone is just acting for the evangelist according to his will his orders but there's like this personal motivation that's lacking like usually villains or antagonists in anime they all act according to their own ideal but in this case it's all like yeah we're doing what the evangelist want we're doing what nature wants you know like there's nothing really personal to it just because we haven't seen the evangelist yet it just seems like all the people we've been fighting so far just be like puppets who cannot really think for themselves they are all like we just act for this person this ideal and it shows kind of similar but with him we have even less information like we know he's Sheena's brother he has this Abdullah burst as well he's one of the commanders who also works for the evangelist but other than that like you know just because he's been brought up under the evangelist and within that organization he doesn't seem to have any memories or any feelings left from Shinla or his mother which is also logical but that also makes it unfortunate you know there's just this emotional connection which is lacking his personal motivation his personal feelings which makes him also less interesting as an antagonist so I'm like okay we have this battle going on between brothers Shina's just trying to rescue Sho and save him from that organization, taking him back home. Sho is just like, yeah, I'm just doing what the Evangelist wants. There's just something missing. Doesn't take away that it's still super high, the animation is awesome, the fight itself is awesome, and I cannot wait to see the continuation of it. But I just hope to get a bit more depth from show, which is just all so superficial still. And I just have that feeling with the entire organization and the people of the white class. It's all just so superficial. I just want to see more depth. I think that's what it is. So we'll see how things are going to go. We still have a couple of episodes left from this season. I don't know if Shina is able to resolve everything with show within those few episodes. We will see what's gonna happen. I'm really curious nonetheless. So yeah, that was my reaction to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're curious to see my other reaction videos, feel free to check out my channel and subscribe. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! -bye.